new videos every day. Does your ass hurt? Or it could be your so ass. Hi, my name is Ron Vaughn. I'm a sports massage therapist. Uh, my business is Athletic Tune-Up Professionals, and uh, we deal with uh, sports massage for athletes and the everyday uh, work, weekend warrior and everyday people. Uh, but today, I want to talk to you about your psoas muscle and how it can help uh, you get some relief from your back problems and just uh, running and all that jazz. Uh, this is Kate. She's going to be my model today, and I will show you uh, a proper... Uh, different than what most uh, other therapists do as far as uh, getting to the psoas muscle and it's more effective. The psoas muscle, um, as some of you know, it's the, your stabilizer as far as your core. It helps your balance in your, uh, when you're running and, and then when you're sitting down a lot, it, it's affected pretty much everything you do. So today I want to kind of focus on that and uh, just so, I want to show you kind of like a picture, get you know, an image idea of what it's like. It's, you know, it, it, attaches on the origin is right here in the spine, the lumbar area, and it attaches down to the uh, lesser choke anterior of the uh, femur there. So a lot of you have that problem, and uh, I just want to show you how to kind of work that out and release some of the uh, tension and help your back or any kind of you know butt problem, butt pain you may be having, um, and help you to just get some relief in your, your back. So uh, this is Kate, like I said. She's ready to show, we're ready to demonstrate with her. So I'm gonna have her lie down and we're gonna get started. All right, here's my, uh, my specimen here. <laughs> so a lot of people go th uh, through the abs to get to the uh, psoas muscle, which this is the origin of it, which is a good place to do it, yes. Um, another place that people don't, that usually doesn't get worked in this right between the legs uh, on the uh, femur. So what we're gonna do is gonna demonstrate that because a lot of people already do this. So we don't need to reinvent the circle, reinvent the wheel, I mean. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have her turn her side and we're gonna show you. So uh, the psoas you know, attaches up here in the lumbar area, comes through the pelvis area and attaches down here in the uh, femur area. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to just actually hit it and you just wanna kinda Find it. Best way to find it is come start from the knee, work your way up. You have the adductors, and then you'll find the, the attachment for the psoas, which is about right in here. How's that feel there? Yeah. So pretty much you just kind of you know just work on it. You, you want to see if you can feel any scar tissue in here, um, if it's really tight, if it's dormant, and you just kind of want to just kind of knead it and kind of just kind of. Uh, Break up any kind of adhesions that may be in there. And the goal is to get the range of motion. So if I get the muscle to move, then I know the muscle can have range of motion. But if the muscle doesn't move, the muscle cannot heal itself with that range of motion. Are you okay? Uh -huh. It can be very painful. Uh, I've been working on her, so she's not as bad. There's a lot, especially like sprinters. Um, a lot of people who do running, sprinting, uh, uh, they're really tender in this area so you gotta be careful when you go in there but yeah you can just so she's moving pretty good and then you can also um, the adductors and you also get some of the hand, the quad to kind of separate them here to help relieve some of the tension from the, uh, the psoas as well so Then this way, I could also push it away from the bone here, kind of like deboning a chicken. <laughs> and some people are so tight, it feels like beef jerky. So you wanna, so with beef jerky, if you put water on beef jerky, it gets all soft. soft and pliable again. So that's what you want. So I'm also getting some of the adductors here and getting all that. So another area of the psoas muscle, uh, we already targeted here, and people already know about this one. Um, one area that a lot of people miss too is the psoas comes through this area right under this ligament here, which is the inguinal ligament, attaches from the hip bone to the pubic bone. So if this is real tight here, this psoas cannot slide like it's supposed to slide. And so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to kind of release that so we can get this whole muscle to get its range of motion. So your client can have relief and straighten up their core and balance and agility. All right, 
so as I was saying, the inguinal ligament attaches here at the pel pubic pel pel pelvis bone here. It goes down to the pubic bone, which is right here. Be careful when you go down there. It's a very uh, sensitive area and personal area. So this ligament here, as it gets tight, so you can loosen up the inguinal ligament here. You can also loosen it up down here in this pelvis area. Now you remember the pubic area, the abs attach here too, so you kind of have a whole area you have to be aware of. So right here I can feel the psoas muscle. So all I want to do is just kind of rock it back and forth, kind of get it to move. Because like I said earlier, once the muscle is moving, you can, it can, the muscle can function and you can strengthen it and, and help it get better. Ooh. Of course, there's two. The good thing about the human body, there's usually two sides to every <laughs> thing, so you can compare. And um, usually, this pelvis, if the linguinal ligament is tight, it will kind of shift in, and so you know you really have something to work with. So, by comparing them, like this side is loose and this side is tight, so I need to go over there and loosen this side as well. But, um, So there's sometimes there's scar tissue on this uh, pubis bone area here, and so you got to release all that and get that going. And so you also have not only do you have the psoas muscle here, but the iliacus is in here as well, which all come together and run down here. So, okay, another thing about the psoas muscle that I need to uh, think about is if this is being pulled in here, see what it does to the leg? It kind of rotates the leg in, and so when you do that, it affects your whole stride and your whole. Uh, gait and because if your knee starts going in and you start having problems with your hip your feet start bothering you and your your whole body gets off this side starts to compensate and so that's uh one another reason we that so as it's so important to get released and get some relief all right so um trying to wrap it up here there's so much to talk about uh, about the body it's so awesome um just a couple of key things um remember the so as if it gets tight it's going to make the pelvis tilt forward right which also pulls on the uh, spine here which is on the inside of your lumbar so it makes you well yeah it makes you tilt in and lower back pain um so that's one that's one reason i'm talking about it and also that leads up to it when you work with the psoas you also got to come down and there's a pezan serene which is the adductors and you got a quad the uh, muscle comes across here is sort of there's so much that we could talk about <laughs> I can't, so the future videos, we'll talk about it because I want to also talk about preventing knee problems, knee pain. Um, and this is just the beginning. All right, thanks again for watching. I hope this is uh, inform, uh, a lot of information for you. Uh, send me a comment uh, if you have something that you didn't understand what I said or you, you didn't like what I said, which I get that a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just contact me. Uh, AthleticTuneUp.com is my website and uh, just email me, contact me any way you can. Thanks so much and have a good day. Deep. <laughs>